Good afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Medalco holds a virtual press conference amid calls from lawmakers for the power firm to suspend the disconnection of unpaid accounts. For more details, Shaila Francisco joins us live from Taguig. Shaila, what's the good news? Charles, Meralco assures its customers there won't be any disconnection in the next two months. In a virtual press conference, the utility firm said customers have until August 31 to pay bills before they receive disconnection notices. Those who have paid even partially will be exempted from disconnection. Meralco added that the deadline may still be extended to give consideration to customers who are still grappling with the impact of the health crisis. Meanwhile, actual meter reading is almost complete for all customers. Specific concerns of customers are now being addressed. According to the company, less than 50% of the customers paid in full because most of them avail of installment payments. Still, Meralco continues to pay suppliers in full. Charles Meralco also confirmed that they have refunded the convenience fee through third-party suppliers. Now, Meralco advises its customers to pay their bills or settle their bills in other payment services and bring the related billings to avoid queues in its offices. Charles? Thanks for that, Shyla. That was Shyla Francisco reporting live from Taguig. And heads up to aspiring lawyers, you too have more time to prepare. The next bar examinations have been moved to next year. In bar bulletin number 12, 2020 bar exam chairperson Justice Marvik Leonen says the upcoming exams will definitely not be held before February 2021. This is due to uncertainty arising from the increasing number of COVID-19 cases and community quarantine protocols nationwide. Here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. Palace spokesman Harry Roque says President Duterte is expected to announce new quarantine classifications on Tuesday, June 30. Two weeks ago, the chief executive extended the General Community Quarantine or GCQ status for Metro Manila and several other areas. The palace refutes a WHO report which states that the Philippines has the fastest rise in COVID-19 cases across the Western Pacific region. Secretary Roque explains that the country should not be compared to other countries with smaller populations such as Singapore. And the finance department signs two credit facility deals worth with France worth approximately 14 billion pesos. The agreements aim to expand financial services to members of the vulnerable population and increase private sector participation in infrastructure projects. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Just register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com so you can stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.